A sitar player who's blind, a pianist with one arm, and a former trumpet player who makes music by blowing through a tube. They're some of the world's first para-orchestra, brought together by conductor Charles Hazelwood. He wanted to give talented, disabled players a platform after his own daughter was born with cerebral palsy. Casey Razzle has been to their first rehearsal. <laughs> Always got to find ways to do things in life, uh, whether you can see or not. It hasn't really helped me back in any way. I think, if anything, it's kind of given me the push that I've needed to, to say I will, you know, I will succeed. There was a little gothic harp, and basically I went. Uh, I picked it up, and that was it. In all, there are 14 players united by a love of music, an orchestra with a difference brought together by a world-renowned conductor. Adrian, I particularly love your harmonising. Charles Hazelwood's daughter Eliza has cerebral palsy. As he began noticing how much she loves music, it set him thinking. Aside from her glorious existence, she's kind of opened a window into a whole new world, uh, the, the world of disabled people that was invisible to me before. And as a musician myself, I'm thinking, OK, I conduct orchestras all around the world. How many disabled musicians do I find? Answer, virtually none. So I thought, OK, it's time to establish a really brightly lit platform for astonishingly gifted musicians who happen to be disabled in order to get the attention of the world to bring about change. Amongst this para-orchestra, rehearsing for the first time all together, Baluji Srivastav on sitar, who lost his sight as a baby. Clarence Adu, who played trumpet with stars like Courtney Pine before he was paralysed in a car crash. He now plays using a tube. And left-handed pianist Nicholas McCarthy, who was born without the other hand. I had a couple of people, you know, say, well, you know, how could you do this? You, you, can't, you can't play the piano, you've got one hand. And uh, they now know that I am a pianist, so that's quite nice <laughs> for me. <laughs> Also in the British Para Orchestra, the harpist Stephanie West, who started playing a specially adapted wooden flute. And the blind lutenist Matthew Wadsworth. When, as a youngster, he found there was no braille system for lute music, he devised one. I don't wait for solutions, I'll, if there isn't one, then I'll find it. I don't feel in any way um, disadvantaged. I think it might be the opposite. I, I think I've been able to use uh, my my position uh, as a strength. Being here makes you realise how rarely you actually see disabled musicians. And that's the point. This isn't tokenism. There's no shortage of real talent in the room and they're making world-class music. They're rehearsing for their debut concert at next month's orchestra in a field festival in Somerset. This rehearsal, a time to improvise and find their rhythm. Clarence Adu blows into a tube to activate sound, its pioneering mouthpiece technology. I never thought one moment that uh, I would never play music again. I was a professional trumpet player, and so um, the main thing was, uh, it's very physical. So playing the trumpet, you know, you know you're know, you playing the trumpet because you're breathing, your whole body is working to this. Now this, because I uh, am paralysed from the neck downwards, uh, I now have just a little um, stream of air to trigger this musical instrument. So you don't feel that physical uh, aspect. The decision to join a disabled orchestra was a tough one for some of these musicians. They've forged careers alone or with mainstream orchestras, but their conductor has a clear aim. The hope for the British Power Orchestra going forward is that it becomes a very, very kind of well-publicised, brightly lit platform for amazing music making. The disability in a way is irrelevant in that respect. It has to be about the highest level of high octane music making so that the world can look at that and say, my God, look what we've been missing. This vision in tune, perhaps, with how attitudes are changing in this Paralympic year. Mm -hmm.